All right, Mania Thig, so y'all challenge me with this one. We're going to make a Judgment Day Finn Balor. We're going to start off with a Elite Finn Balor with a pretty accurate head scan. Pieces I got. I'm going to be playing around with this one. So I got a J, Jimmy J, one of them. A leather jacket I had made prior. I'm gonna mess around with the pants, so I might be like using pieces from these two. We got the black arms from here, and some shoes and stuff. All right, so this is actually my first Finn Balor figure. And since we're making it an Ultimate Edition, we're gonna use another Jeff Hardy. <sighs> it's late. Um, I'm gonna need Acetone. I'm gonna need our boiling cup. I'm gonna need some I need a towel. I need some Q-tips and shit. And now let's see. We're gonna put Finn in here first. I'm also gonna put our road dog in here. I'm gonna let those sit. All right, so my idea is to use these arms for when he has the armbands on. So I'm gonna take those off. And I wanna use these J pants or Jimmy, whatever, whichever one. Um, I'm gonna use this Uso pants on here, but I don't know how it's gonna look because he's wearing like tights, but they're baggy a little bit. So I'm gonna see how this looks in total. I'm gonna swap out these for some John Cena ankles and some regular boots. So we have to pop this off and the Jeff Hardy torso. And I'm probably gonna keep this bottom for alternate attire. So just to warm up, I'm gonna take this one off, get all that water out. And get in there. Get in here. We could just use this bottom piece. Probably use the J bottom legs, but I don't think that's gonna work out. So I'm just gonna put this to the side. And then I could easily pop off his head and drill is for how I get my other head scans to fit. But I'm gonna do that after while this torso is still hot. We're going to open it there. And here. We got his bottom half right here. And we can put this to the side. So we're going to put in our Hurricane and our J. 
meantime i'm going to drill a bigger hole to make this easier to take on and off so i'm going to use this drill which this piece kind of match ups with this hole just to widen it Just like this. And just scrape out the extra. And boom. Then we test it. It's kind of low, but it can be all right. If I was to put the head on all the way, it would sit kind of low. So I would probably like put like a little bit of filling in there. I'm not going to do that on camera, but you see, Z, you'll just put like, I don't know if you have a hot glue gun and just fill it a little bit and put pressure on it. So it kind of molds until it hardens in there. And then you could adjust it. That's the easier way instead of putting like a new neck peg or trying to find a long one if you don't have one or whatever. On to our next part. These arms. Get these arms off. And then we got this. I do want to use this figure, so I'm not gonna. Not that I was gonna destroy it, but try my best not to destroy it. And in the meantime, I could put this inside here. Now I could put the feet in here. Let those two soak. And we take these out. Pegs. I don't know about this one. Put those in there. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Would have been a cool idea, but. Alright, alright. Let's see. We still put the to the side we take this torso out
we got that.